On the stand of Baron Brook, I'm with David Greenshields, and you've launched a new product, and I think it's fair to say it's been inspired by one of the world's greatest ever footballers, as much as us England fans are <laughs> reluctant to say so. You want to explain? It has. I uh, obviously play a bit of football back in the day, and I, I, I think I like guys that are about five foot five. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we... we after a very long process of developing a new cultivar, you have the big decision of um, coming up with a name. So we tend to call all our varieties Bar something or B-A-R something. And uh, I thought that it was, it was only fit to give a good football grass the name Baradonna. Baradonna. It's perfect, isn't it? Let's explain. Obviously, you are providers of grass seed mixture for sport and amenity services. And this is new product that you developed for the winter markets. Yeah, so Baradonna would predominantly be a football rugby grass. Um, it's very well ranked in official lists. Um, it was bred in Holland, but we've trialled it extensively in the UK and incorporated it into products in the UK. So yeah, it's going to go into football pitches from next year. Um, we have a couple of products, one called Elite Sport, which is aimed more at stadium environments, and one called Multisport, which... Is a unique product in the market because all of the grass seed is produced here in the UK. And how do you get that, that blend right? It needs to be a certain combination, I'm guessing? Yeah. In terms of official lists, individual varieties are assessed. And what we feel we need to do as a, as a breeding marketeer of grass is to trial mixtures. So we actually do that quite extensively, not a million miles away from here in Worcestershire um, and in customer locations in the UK. Um, so, yeah, having the blend of disease tolerance and colour, I think, is very important for the football market. Um, so, yeah, there's usually three or four varieties would go into a mix. How long have you been in this market for, David? Me, personally, yeah. uh, I've worked for Barenbrook for 11 years. Yeah, the change in, the change in high-level stadium turf is, has been astronomical in the last 20 years. You know, it was, you look back at, you know, you watch Premier League games from... Even, even around 2000 and they're clearly playing on pitches that are going to be re-turfed the following week uh, in the middle of winter that just doesn't happen anymore it's partly down to grass seed but the big innovations have been the hybrid surfaces and, and lights your objectives at this expo at Soltex 2019 what are you hoping to achieve David? Um, we're very dominant in the golf market in the UK uh, we'd like to be more dominant in sport uh, we feel that we do have the R&D and the grass varieties to really help guys out like Baradonna. So it's a case of trying to communicate that. Um, we want people to come on and discuss and we really feel we can help them out. Well, for people who don't want to put Baradonna in their pitch, we've got Barra Mario. We've got Barbaston coming next wow. year. And Barzico as well. Wow. So there's plenty to choose from. Do you know what? You, you have to come to the Barenbrook stand just for their sheer creativity of <laughs> puns alone.